Ah, some old faces to lift the spirits, and a couple of new ones besides. Allow me to introduce Uni and Doga. They are scholars of ancient Alec, sent here by our friends of Baldessian to aid in the investigation. We understand you're having trouble circumventing the tower's defenses. Tis our hope that we can be of some small assistance. If your attire is ought to go by, your assistance should prove invaluable indeed. To begin with, let me tell you where we stand. Beyond rises Circus Tower, the principal spire of the structure collectively known as the Crystal Tower. The only way to get inside is through the proverbial front door, the imposing gate you see here. The problem is we can't get it to, to open. It's sealed by some mechanism whose workings are an utter mystery to us. Having had no success via more orthodox methods, I went at it with everything from a pickaxe to a Magitek cannon. Nothing so much put a scratch on it. For a blessing, the gate doesn't try to reduce us to ash like the eight sentinels, but that doesn't make it any less effective a security measure. It's fiendishly frustrating in its simplicity. The only clue we have is the elaborate device carved upon it. A man and a woman respectant. Allegan royalty by my judgment. Will they need two red eyes? We have people with two red eyes. That guy's wearing a crown. Precisely who these individuals were, we cannot say, nor do we know whether the device actually serves a purpose. Like as not, it is purely decorative. I don't think it is. I'm just saying, if you have one generational eye, they have two generational eyes. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're thinking of forcing it, save your strength. It's no use. Just ask the calluses on my incredibly handsome hands. Rest assured, we do not mean to waste our strength. Indeed, why should we exert ourselves when the gate will open of its own accord? Okay, what the hell are those? What's the blue stuff? They can just shoot, like, Allegan magics out of their hands? What is that supposed to be? I expected it to, like, scan their eyes or something. That's just, that's just raw royal ether. I mean, I've seen ether, yeah, but, like, I expected it to be tied to their eyeballs. I... I don't think any of us expected that to happen. You, you've seen the color of their eyes, right? Seven hells. What is this? What did you do? What... What are you... Piercing the heavens and gathering the light, a symbol of mankind's glory and might. Oh, is this Nero? It's virtue guarded by gates impregnable, only of those whose royal blood and swearable. Exactly passed down through legend, I am delighted to see. It is. How am I supposed to get the voice right if you make it question marks, dick? <clears throat> now, 
beg your pardons for interrupting your bewilderments. I couldn't help but notice the remarkable playthings you have acquired. N Nero, you're still alive? Garland, Garland, if I didn't know better, I would say you weren't happy to see me. Oh, but I jest. In light of our recent meetings, you have every right to be wary, but rest assured, I am no longer a threat to you. My legion is for all intents and purposes defunct. My association with it by means a tight noose awaits me back in Garlemald. Um, so I've been roaming the land in Eorzea, a regular internet. In the course of my wanderings, I chanced to catch wind of your latest adventure. It sounded positively fascinating, so I decided to come here and join you. After the wrongs you've committed, you think us that gullible? If you are suspicious of my intent, tis only by my just deserts. I, I am determined to make amends. As a gesture of goodwill, I will share with you with what I know, starting with these two odd characters. As you are doubtless already aware, the Crystal Tower was the symbol of ancient Alec's might and prosperity. Entry was permitted only to royalty and a select few individuals. According to records I have unearthed, only royal blood can open the gate. In other words, the Emperor and his progeny were living keys. You mean to say these two are descended from elegant royalty? Oh, I suggest nothing so glamorous. To put it plainly, they are imitations of royalty. Living keys born of elegant ingenuity. Wait, what? They're robots? Clones? Clones, I believe is the name your creators gave your kind, is that so? That explains perfect genetics. Like if the eye if the eyes are recessive. Twould seem that the time for concealment is past. I've known you like five minutes. Pray accept our apologies. "'Twas not our intent to deceive for the past eight minutes. "'We simply wished to avoid causing undue alarm "'by prematurely making what many would consider deranged claims. "'If it fell, if it please you, let us return to the Eight Sentinels. "'There is much and more to tell.' Very well. Seven Hells, do you seriously mean to follow us? Oh, come, Garland. You know me better than to think I spoke in jest. What more will it take for us to be reconciled? A gift, perhaps? Here, an elegant tombstone. It holds the information I just shared with you, and a deal more besides. It used to be jealously guarded property of the 14th Legion, but it is now yours... I wish you joy of it. I look forward to working together, old friend. 
Last time I saw you, you were like deranged shouting about being a jealous buddy of his or whatever from school. Okay. So there better be something about these sentinels that was worth commuting all the way back out here. If you are ready to listen, we shall tell you all. As it pertains closely to your investigation, your leader, Rambrose, may wish to be present. Well, that's really Rambrose's call. Hey, buddy. How are you? Before we begin, pray allow me to apologize again. It was not our intent to deceive you when we did the deceiving. As you will have already gathered, we are not scholars sent by students of Baldessian. Nay, we are clones. Copies of people who once existed given life through Allegan technology. Uh, this is rather a lot to take in. I just got here. If it would not be considerably unseemly, might I ask why you and yours were created? And more specifically, what is it you seek to do? Answering your questions requires that we revisit Allegan history. Pray bear with us. The Allegan Empire reached its zenith long before our kind came into being. In that glorious age, the Crystal Tower stood tall as a symbol of Allegan pride. Parents took their children there that they might learn how the nigh limitless energy it produced brought prosperity to the whole empire. That prosperity, however, bred decadence, and the empire began to show signs of stagnation. This decline was made all the more rapid for want of strong leadership. In a matter of generations, the Allegan civilization became a pale shadow of its former self. Its once gleaming cities fell into disrepair, its frontier lands were given over to the wilderness. Lamenting the pitiful state of affairs, one technology made it his mission to restore Alec to greatness. Amon was his name and he believed that the ailing empire wanted for but a potent ruler, and none was more potent than its founding father whom he sought to resurrect. The founding father? You cannot mean Emperor Zandi. None other. As part of his experiments, Amon created clones of the emperor's descendants. We are products of that experiment. Copies of Uni and Doga. Historical texts mentions the reigns of two Allegan emperors named Zandi. It was commonly believed that the second was the namesake of the first. After all, such a custom is not uncommon among royalty and commoners alike. To think that the two were in fact one and the same. I, Zandi returned from the grave and assumed his throne once more. And true to Amon's prediction, the emperor restored his realm to the glory it once knew. Would that he could have been satisfied with that. In his previous life, the Emperor d desired to bring the entire world under Allegan dominion, an ambition that ultimately went unfulfilled. Having been granted a second cho chance, he was uh, determined to succeed. Realizing that he needed more power to wage his war of conquest, Zandi turned his sights toward a forbidden source, the darkness. In order to learn how to harness this power, he converted the Crystal Tower into a restricted research facility. Darkness, a again? Seven hells. 
What is it with the megalomaniacal rulers turning to darkness in their lust for power? Well, at least this one won't be bothering us, being thousands of years dead and all. Would that you were right, Master Garland. Alas, Emperor Zandi is very much alive within the Circus Tower he still abides. His ambition burning all the more ardently for his empire's collapse. Yeah, this is like super important. Wielding the power of darkness re requires prodigious amounts of energy. Energy that not even the Crystal Tower could produce. In order to augment the shortfall, Dalamud was created and launched into the heavens. On high it hung, gathering the sun's energy and channeling it to the tower below. However, a miscalculation resulted in a surge of energy that escaped into the land. This triggered an earthquake of unprecedented violence. The calamity that ushered in the fourth umbral era. In the blinking of an eye, the mighty Allegan Empire was laid to waste. Yet, even as the Crystal Tower was sinking into the earth, the technologist Simon, now Emperor Zandi's closest aide, invoked powerful magics and halted the flow of time. Every soul within the structure, the Emperor included, was placed in a deep slumber. In that state, they were to remain until time was ripe to awaken. Errors came and went. After millennia lying dormant, Dalamud was summoned back to Earth. Its descent triggered the seventh umbral calamity, in which the wake of the Crystal Tower re-emerged. At that moment, Emperor Zandi awakened. In his lust for power, the Emperor consorted with darkness and was seduced by its corrupting influence. Even though his empire is now little more than a fading memory, he will stop at nothing to see his ambition realized. Tis for no other purpose but to put an end to Zandi's madness that we exist. Tis is the mantle we have inherited from our namesakes, the true Uni and Doga. Fearing what might befall the world, the two of them sought to thwart their emperor. They gave unto us their will, that we might carry on their mission should they fail. When the when we came to our senses within the Crystal Tower, we deliberated a course of action. Concluding that we alone could not overcome Zandi, we struck out to find a worthy ally. It has taken years, but our search is finally over. Tis no ordinary man who can cut a path through the labyrinth of the ancients. With you as our champion and 23 others like you, Meteor Durblander, we are confident we can end Zandi's dark ambition once and for all. Well, that'll teach me for speaking too soon. Setting my chagrin aside, I see now why you knew about the students of Baldessian, among a host of other things. You were observing our investigation the whole time. So, what will we do, Meteor? The world's in grave danger again, and it just so happens you're an expert at saving it. We're gonna punch things. Yeah! You have our eternal gratitude. Together, let us see the Allegan's Empire dark past laid to rest. Well, yep. 
been our mission to recover the long-lost knowledge of the Allegan civilization. But what worth is that knowledge if it means subjecting the realm to peril? Truth be told, it pains me to think that the Tower's secrets may become lost to us, but the greater good must ever come first. Besides, no quantity of ancient relics can compare to our friends Udi and Doga, living, breathing aliens. Plus, I'm sure we'll meet some bunny rabbits or something later. And so I hereby declare a change in Noah's objective. Henceforth, we shall direct all efforts towards sealing off Circus Tower. Its dark secrets must never know the light of day. No, 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 no. We're going to go in there and kill it. Meteor, as you did for us with the Labyrinth of the Ancients, I would have you enter the structure that we're about to seal off and eliminate the hostile elements. Suffice it to say, this includes Emperor Zandi himself. Oh, well, seal me in a tower with him then. Meanwhile, the rest of us shall examine ways to isolate Circus Tower from the outside world. To work then! Hey, buddy. Is this weird for you? To see clones of your, like, great-great-grandparents or something? At least somebody in your bloodline? Wait. There is something I must know. My right eye is like yours. Does... Does this mean... Yep. Yeah. This is your, your Nana and your Popsky, your Grandma and your Grandpa. You inherited your trait from your father, you said. Know that clones are unable to bear offspring. You have no cause for concern. The Allegan Eye, you called it. But to us, it is the Royal Eye. Owing to the fact that the trait manifests only in those possessed of royal blood. I cannot well explain why the eye runs in your line, but I am disinclined to think it a coincidence. Though you are doubtless impatient to learn the truth, pray have patience. All will be revealed in due time. I'm from the future, and I can tell you, Graha, time is a word that, when it comes to you, is gonna get real weird. Like, real weird. If anybody's not allowed to talk about time and us understand it, it's you. My apologies if I've given you cause to worry. I, I am quite well, I assure you. As you can appreciate, there has been much for me to think on. But know that the, this is the time for action, not idle thoughts. Circus Tower awaits. Your task is to eliminate all hostile elements within the structure, Zandi himself included. This will afford us the chance to steal off the facility. May Crystal grant you your strength. Are you guys trying to seal me in? Also, like, why are these guys? What happens to them? Because me being from Shadowbringers, I don't remember them. And I feel like they should be in the Crystal Tower. <laughs> 